Hello, I didn't know when, but eventually I knew it was going to come around. For someone to ask me the question, uh, it was actually questions, and uh, that is the whole purpose of this video today. Um, kind of going off my notes right here. Um, like many, so many of us, you that are watching, um, we take an interest in wet shaving, whether someone lets us borrow a razor or we stumble across it in one way, shape, or form, or we inherit something from our grandfather, uh, as I did, and uh, we take a liking to uh, wet shaving, and that leads into a whole long road that can lead to a lot of rabbit trails. Uh, for me, I uh, went to Badger and Blade, and I just was every night consumed on my iPad, laying in bed, reading everybody's comments, uh, what's this, what's that, what's the best, what smells the best, what's the best blades, what's the best razors, yada, 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 which led me over to Straight Razor Place, uh, Shaving Forum, and uh, just, as, just as much as with Badger and Blade, and... Um, Eventually, I stumbled upon YouTube and noticed that a lot of people had uh, tutorial videos and reviews and uh, there was a handful, you know, that would spit them out, YouTube videos, uh, about every other day uh, or every day. And uh, I even kind of caught on to that and did it myself for a while. Uh, and then I kind of realized, like, how many videos can you make to where you're pretty much showing the same stuff and... And quite honest with you, if you're staying for the whole view of this, well, good on you. Uh, and I understand if you don't, because there's been a lot of times I'll watch someone's video in two to three minutes, and then I'll end up, you know, leaving it. But anyways, uh, one of the videos that you will often see is what the person's being asked. You know, what are your top ten soaps? What are your top ten aftershaves? What are your best blades? What are your best razors? And uh, that hit me a couple times, so the last time uh, was asked of me uh, a couple days ago, and I, I guess I need not shy away from it for those who, who um, for whatever reason, watch my videos or look at my post pictures on, on the various Facebook pages or uh, Google communities. So today I'm going to give you a review of my top 10 soaps, and they are really not my top 10. Uh, but they're the top 10 that I would probably, if I had to get rid of all the other ones, these are the ones that I would hang on to. Um, and I've learned all about these soaps from other people's reviews and uh, took an interest in uh, what people would post in their shave of the days. Uh, personally, I began with shaving creams like so many of us do. Uh, the first shaving cream that I ever bought was... Uh, Taylor Bond Street, Jeremiah Street, which really smells good. It's easy to lather. Um, and then soon to follow after that was Parasso. I think everybody's got this in their shaving dens. If you don't, where have you been? Both of them, great performers. And I've got a couple other shaving creams, as you see them in the picture that I'll post of all my soaps and uh, the couple creams that I do have. Um, but I would maybe recommend if you are new to wet shaving, uh, you might want to start out with a cream. And you can't go wrong with with uh, Parasso. You can't go wrong with any of the Taylor Bond Streets. And I've got another Taylor Bond Street, uh, Grapefruit, which I absolutely love. Uh, but today is about soaps because I took a liking and um, I started getting soaps. And uh, one soap led to another. And as you see in the picture of all the soaps that I have, uh, you don't need that many. You really don't. Uh, they say wet shaving is um, to save you money. Really? Really? Hmm. I think I spent more money since I took into wet shaving than I did buying a can of Gillette shaving gel and the disposables, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but I have no regrets. I absolutely love it. It's a man thing. And um, so I'm going to get into uh, what, what do I look for in a soap? I look for, because many of you know, I started out 
with double edge razors and then I went to straight razors and in my opinion and I've heard that single edge razors provide the best shave and I don't want to know because I absolutely love straight razor shaves. Uh, man, I could get a great shave every time, you know, pretty much with a straight razor. Sometimes I can't explain it. But sometimes some shaves are better than others. Uh, but it's a com combination of several things. One is your soap. Two is a brush. Three is how you learn how to load your brush and, and work that soap. Uh, some kind of load differently. Um, and I've had a lot of soaps and the ones that you've seen in the picture are the ones that I like the best. Uh, I've had probably maybe just as much of that and, um, and I no longer have them and I no longer have them for a reason. Uh, but no particular order. Let me go ahead and show you some of my favorite soaps and we'll say this is my top 10. Um, this is really hard people. Really, really hard. I'm going to grab this one. Barrister and Man. Chelshire. It's a great performance soap. Easy to load. You're going to get the lather that you want from any soap. And as soon as I open and unscrew that lid, bam, the smell hit me. This is the only Barrister Man soap I have, so I can only imagine that other ones are just as good. Um, but... I read reviews, people ramped and raved about this one, and I got it. Uh, and it smells good. So, I mean, I'm not saying that's my 10th soap, uh, but it's a good soap. Uh, <clears throat> Green Mountain Soaps. And I've got them all with the exception of Unscented. And I like them all. The only reason I didn't get Unscented, because I like a good smelling soap. And I like all of them. And it was hard for me to pick which Green Mountain soap that I'm displaying in front of you because they all smell good. And they all are excellent performers. And they're a great price. They're triple milled, which is a hard puck soap. And I don't mind buying a little tin and taking my cheese grater and grating it down and putting it in there. It's tallow-based. I'm a tallow-based type of soap. Man, that this particular one is Balsam Spice. It smells so good. And the performance, again, is great. <clears throat> They're all good. This, I mean, this is a second. I didn't know which one to display, so I'll display both of them. But I've got them all. All right, that's eight. Let's go down to seven. GriffithShavingGoods.com started making soaps and my goodness I was probably one of his first customers uh, when I was browsing around looking for a straight razor and I stumbled across his website got in touch with him come to find out his website hadn't been up and running very long and I was probably one of his first customers I think I'm safe to say that and I've been with him ever since and uh, I've got pretty much I've got some other soaps of his uh, but this one is my favorite of all of them and currently, he does not have it on his website. And I'm telling you, Matt, you need to produce some more of this stuff. If you like bay rum and you like lime, this is the best that I have run across. Mm. Again, I graded this, but he is now making his soaps. Uh, and he is putting them in, um, in dishes that resemble uh, Katie's Bubbles, that plastic one, which a lot of people like that, the container. Man, this, this is... Could it be number one? <laughs> I'm telling you people, it's hard. It's hard. Okay. I got... I'm not going to say that. Look here. I like this soap. I like it. I like the smell of it. I like the matching aftershave. And I like this one. I kept them for a reason. Here is a good soap. One of my first soaps that I bought. And uh, Mike Knows Soap. You might not have the patience in his ordering process 
which is to go to his Facebook page, and he will periodically post what soaps are available. He doesn't mass produce them and got a stockpile of them. You order them, you get them. He makes them sporadically. And he will post on his Facebook page when they're about ready to be ready for uh, availability. And then you go to his website, you order it, and then it might take a week. That would be the only downfall. But I'm telling you what, there's no downfall when you slap it on your face and you get your shave on. His barber shop is so good. It reminds me of when I went to Germany. I took this soap with me. And uh, man, it really pairs up. Uh, with a, with an aftershave that I really really like, which is another video. Uh, this is a good barber shop, and I've heard there's a lot of other good barber shops out there. I don't have all makes of soap. There are so many artists and soap makers out there. We don't need any more. Another one that is so good for Mike. So Mike is whatever sequence I'm in. Uh, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm on a six soap which I'm saying is Mike's. Uh, Mike could be number one, I'm telling you. His Bay Rum is to die for. It is the best Bay Rum, period, in my opinion. Oh, man, that's some good stuff. I just recently got his orange cedar wood black pepper. Man, Mike knows soap. Anyone who uses it will tell you the same thing. All right, here we go. We're going down to number... We're on number five. Number five. May I tell you, you don't need to spend a lot of money on high dollar soaps. And there's a couple that I spent some money on. But, um, man... This is some good soap. It's actually a shaving stick. And I grated it with a cheese grater. And I put it in a old pomade, old spice pomade that I cleaned out and I put it in there. Excellent performer. I think it cost me five fifty six dollars Get that? And it performs just as well. And I do not hesitate saying this. As a upper scale thirty or forty dollar soap, guarantee it. La Toya, man, good Spanish stuff. And by saying that, uh, don't have to spend a lot of money. Look at there, ninety nine cents, ninety nine cents. That's old school, people. My grandfather's mug. I've got one in there. I fill that thing up with hot water. I go take a shower. Come back with my brush in there. And there. Brush is floating. Soap is floating. And this thing's full. I come out. I pour it out. I lather that. Lather that. Lather that. And I have no problem with the lather of William's mug soap. Sometimes during my shave... I need to throw it back on there and put some soap on my brush and continue on. I love the post shave of it. And that's not one of my top 10 soaps, okay? But my point is, you don't have to spend a lot of money on high dollar value soaps. And that LaToya is as good as they come. It is as good as they come. Another one. New in my shaving den. I've got another one. And I've got one on the back of my mind that I'm going to get. And I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm from Kentucky. Okay, so uh, I'm not very good at pronouncing words. And sometimes I make words up. So let me just put that up there. It's German. It was recommended to me. And it's gentle menthol. My goodness, is this some good soap. This instantly shot up to one of my top soaps. I think this is my... Third top soap. I'm losing count, people. Uh, but, man, I've got Himalayan Heights, and I'm going to get Dark Limes. Because the person who recommended Dark Limes recommended this, and I, man, this is the bomb. I thought Himalayan Heights was good. This is the bomb. 
and you can order a refill puck and I'm not telling you where to buy your stuff, shop around online because you can get decent prices at various places. I don't just go to one dealer. I found this, this replaceable puck from a website over in England and it is cheaper to get that puck from that website to include the shipping than some of the places I've seen over here. So shop around. Okay. My goodness. Good stuff. I just did a shave video of that. I said, I highly recommend the soap. And I said that for a reason. Number two. I, can't, I will never go without this soap. It is a very reasonable, affordable soap. And if Joe ever stops making it, he's making the biggest mistake about like Floyd, not making Floyd blue. Mm, my goodness. Easy to load, great slick lather. It don't get no better than the soap. Um, what is it? <laughs> Razor Rock Triple X. I love this stuff. I mean, I always refer to Chell Sires, uh, Barrister Man's Chell Sires is, is the, the scent as a uh, Triple X on steroids. I mean, because it's really a strong scent, but this is... Man, I, I love this stuff. Every time I use it, because I've got so many soaps, which I find myself sometimes, I'm like, which soap do I want to use? Man, I've got, oh man, this will be good. No, I want to use that one. It's kind of like having all your clothes ironed and you don't know what you want to wear to work. Same way for my soaps. But every time I use this, I'm like, man, why don't I use this more often? Because i got a bunch of other soaps. But I absolutely love this one. So I think that's number two. And uh, I'm getting down to... Number uno. Is it really number one? Maybe not. But I'm going to say it's number one for the simple reason. The performance is great. The smell is great. And the price is the best bang for your buck of the performance. If you don't have it, shame on you. Because you don't know what you're missing. I don't remember what I paid for this. Some of you going to know what it is. Yeah, it smells like a sweet almond. Tallow based. And oh man, it tastes, man, it smells so good. And it performs so good. Little to nothing. Ain't going to hurt no one's pocket. And you will absolutely love Chilla. Man, good stuff. So... Man, I've been dreading that. I'm kind of glad I got it off my chest. And the next time you're going to see me do a video is going to be what are my top 10 aftershaves. Got a few of them too. And then what are my top razors? These questions have time and time come up to me. But I'll start with my soaps. Again, those, I love all my soaps, but I just, those are the ones I, I would have to. Without a doubt, if I can only keep so many, that would be the ones that I keep. And I have no problem at any given day or night to grab for one of those soaps that I just displayed. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. Thank you for what it's worth. Again, different strokes for different folks. There's many reviews out there, and I don't have all the soaps. Um, I've got a lot more soaps at one time or another that I no longer have. And I'll just leave it at that. But um, thanks for watching and uh, hope you got something out of it. And my old ending saying is, shave on.